Hey guys, this is Jana with Twiggy Post and today I want to talk to you about the tiling method. I have been using this on my Instagram for the last year and I absolutely love it. The way it works is you create a collage of, of photos and then you crop them into nine different tiles that you can post throughout the week and then at the end of that time period you have what looks to be one big image but it's all of those tiles working together to create that look. So what I like to do is kind of give my followers a sneak peek at the beginning of the week. I'll show them there's, these are my tiles for the week and then each photo that I post they can kind of watch the entire process unfold. So I thought it would be fun today to just show you a little inside glimpse of how I do everything and put it all together. So one of the things that I would just like to let you know from the very beginning is as a photographer, I am in Lightroom and Photoshop all day, every day. So if this is something that you can relate to because this is your line of work as well, you're going to find this process really easy. Now if Lightroom and Photoshop are new to you, just fair warning, it will take a little bit of getting used to, but once you have the process down, it's easy, it's quick, and it's a lot of fun. So basically, I'm in Lightroom and I'm in the print module. I already have my template created. So what I've done here is I've just put together a few different squares and all I have to do is just drag and drop my images to kind of get the look that I want. And I have pre-selected the images that I think that go really well together, but I just wanted to give you an idea of how it works. So I drag them from the bottom of this film strip onto the template. And then all I have to do once I have my pattern selected is I go print to file. Now what I like to do is I double check everything on the identity plate and I have preloaded this nine um, tile template on here and it just gives me an idea of where the cropping lines are going to fall whenever I take this into Photoshop and turn it into the tiles. So I like the way that that looks. I can tell that a couple of these are cut a little bit weird but that's what makes it look um, look fun and interesting on Instagram. I don't want everything to be in a perfect square. I want there to be some overlap because that's what makes it look like a puzzle. So once I find the look that I want, I do print to file and everything's already pre-sized for me. So all I have to do is just name it. So let's just call this Tiles 10. And I'm gonna save it, <clears throat> excuse me. And then I'm gonna go into Photoshop and open it up. So I'm gonna do File Open. And we'll go to tiles 10 and open that up. Very nice. And then I am going to just double check this. Sometimes in the process I lose a little bit of pixel. So I'm going to change this to 3240 by 3240 and just make sure that it's the right size for the action that I'm going to use. Now a friend of mine on Creative Market has a shop. Her name is Pink Coffee and she created this action to work for those of you that are using the tiling method. So this is still in beta testing but I have been using it for the last couple of weeks and I absolutely love it. And so she has assured me it's going to just be a few more days before this hits her shop. And let me tell you, once it does, you're going to want to buy it because look how fast that is. So now all I have to do is go on over to my desktop and then here's my tiles. It was just that quick and it looks fantastic and um, I'm ready to go. So all I have to do is select those and then I normally I like to select the big one, the big picture too, because I'll just give my followers a sneak peek of what it's going to look like. I airdrop these onto my uh, phone and then I'm good to go. So that's basically it. That's how I do the tiling method. Like I said, if you're in Photoshop and Lightroom all day, every day, it's going to be so easy for you to create this look. If you're still new and you're learning the process, it's okay. Give yourself a little bit of time because if you just saw how fast that went, I will sit down and I will create a number of tiles in one afternoon because once you get in the rhythm and you have all of your images and you kind of know the look and the color scheme that you want to go with, it's so fast, it moves really quick. So I hope that you enjoyed just a little glimpse of how I create my tiles. If you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to answer those for you. Otherwise, I'll see you back on over at Twiggy Post.